Alrighty, how's it going today, YouTube? Just out here in Forest Service again, doing a little more cutting of these uh, bug trees. Looks like today I've got my work cut out for me. Uh, as you can see, you know, we've got some pretty good ones around. we got a bunch of ones laying on the ground. Probably not going to worry about those too much. But just thought I'd do a little bit more footage of this since I'm always cutting there on the ranch. And figured I'd uh, give a little bit of a glimpse of what it's like cutting here on the Forest Service land in this area. Maybe you guys can comment on what it's like in your area, how much you pay for the permits, anything like that I'd be interested to hear. All right, well, I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, it's kind of nice cutting here on Forest Service, a little bit of a change of pace from, from there on the ranch, you know. When I first started cutting there on the land, and uh, it, it was really nice, you know, I could just drive the truck up right to wherever the trees were and drop them, wasn't a whole lot of handling the wood as far as carrying rounds or, you know, carrying trees, whatever I could do on my shoulders just to kind of minimize the wear on the land. But here, you know, there's so many dead trees around. It's pretty easy, pretty, pretty, pretty easy to just pick out some trees and cut them down, drive right up to them. Kind of a nice change of pace. I know some of you guys where you're living, probably most of you guys, in fact, uh, you got a little bit more of a selection than just pine or just any one single type of tree. Here we're pretty much strictly ponderosa pine. There might be some other variations of pine, but we're pretty much all pine. Bug kill, beetle kill. That's kind of the, the nature of the cutting here. See if I can turn this camera around and get her aimed where I'm gonna go. I don't really have too much talking in this video. It's gonna be more so just kind of clips of me marking the tree like I'm doing here, measuring it out. Um, you guys can let me know what you do as far as your process with that. Uh, I'd be interested to hear. I know there's some little paint roller guns that people use. Here I'm just using a 15 inch stick with a piece of chalk. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys kind of a warning that if you're looking for some kind of content with me describing my process or going over that type of stuff, there's not going to be a whole lot of it. It's mostly just going to be clips of me cutting. Uh, you guys can kind of skim through and see what you like, see what you don't. At any rate, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you, I can improve on. Let me know what you liked so I can keep that up. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. All right, we'll get back to the video.
guys will notice the camera angle kind of switching around here a little bit and you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of that but it was partly for effect and to give you a better view but it was more than anything just that the phone gets bumped around and jostled and I have to kind of reposition it once in a while so that's what that is. Dusty. Pretty nice tree though. A little punky. If any of you guys out there are watching this and wondering why it is that I'm carrying the rounds and throwing them here into a pile, it's because oftentimes I'm either staging the wood for a customer so that they can just drive right up to it and pick it up, or it's because I am staging the wood for myself to eat more easily be loaded if uh, I'm driving the dump truck and it's going to be kind of hard to get into where I'm going there uh, just to save time, or it's because I'm working with a partner, they're in another part of the woods cutting and they're going to come and pick me up later. It's amazing how much difference it makes as far as the time you put in when you're just cutting larger rounds. You know, that's already like one row right there, as opposed to these long bean poles that you really just got to do all that work for and really not get so much wood volume out of.
So I figure I'd just kind of keep the dialogue to a minimum for this video, show you guys what it was like with me cutting forest service, maybe a little bit of how the saw's running there. Um, as you can see, it's not much different than me cutting at home, you know, pick the trees, drop the trees, mark the trees, limb the trees, pluck the trees, put them in a pile, and that's about it. Sometimes the customer gets them, sometimes we bring them to them. If you thought there was anything I could improve on, let me know in the comments. Other than that, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hey, you guys stay safe out there.